Welcome to the animated summary of Habit 4, Think Win-Win from the book The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens by Sean Covey. In this habit, we'll explore the power of a positive mindset where everyone involved can benefit. In the previous three habits, we focused on our private victory, improving ourselves. But Sean reminds us that life is not a competition, so in Habit 4, we open the chapter of Public Victory, where we embrace a positive mindset that allows everyone to win. But before we do that, let's understand the different paradigms or mindsets. The first mindset is win-lose, represented by the totem pole. This mindset sees life as a competition with winners and losers. The focus is on personal success at the expense of others. It leads to a cutthroat approach to relationships and interactions. For example, winning an argument with your mom may make you feel victorious, but it leaves her feeling defeated. The second mindset is lose-win, represented by the doormat. This mindset involves sacrificing one's own needs to please others or avoid conflict. It's like being a yes-man from habit 3, where you prioritize others' happiness over your own. You may go along with things you don't want, becoming like a doormat that people wipe their dirty feet on. Even though you sacrifice your desires and creativity, it may not lead to true harmony. The third mindset is lose-lose, represented by the downward spiral. This mindset believes that if one person has to lose, then everyone should lose. It's like being caught in a negative cycle where conflicts escalate and harm each other. It's similar to two people pulling each other down into a spiral of negativity. Seeking revenge may feel satisfying in the moment, but it ultimately harms both parties and worsens relationships. And now, the fourth mindset is win-win, represented by the all-you-can-eat buffet. This mindset believes that everyone can win. It's like going to a buffet where there's enough for everyone. It promotes cooperation, collaboration, and mutual benefit. When we adopt a win-win mindset, we seek solutions that satisfy the needs and interests of all parties involved. It's not about stepping on each other or being a doormat, but finding creative and mutually beneficial outcomes. So, how do we think win-win? Let's explore two key points. First, it's important to win the private victory. Focus on personal growth and development. Improve your study habits and time management skills to achieve better grades. By gaining confidence in your own abilities, you set the foundation for thinking win-win in your academic pursuits and collaborations with classmates. This is when we will start enjoy seeing other people's successes, instead of feeling jealous or being threatened by them. Second, avoid the tumor twins of competing and comparing with others. Competing involves constantly trying to outdo others, seeking validation through winning. It's like always running a race against others, feeling stressed and anxious. Comparing measures one's worth based on how they stack up against others. If you keep comparing yourself to others, it's like being a wave in the sea, constantly tossed by the wind. Instead, set your own goals, define your own success, and celebrate your individual progress. Embrace your unique strengths and talents to cultivate a healthy self-image and positive sense of self-worth. In summary, Habit 4, Think Win-Win teaches us valuable lessons. We explore different mindsets, win-lose, where personal success comes at the expense of others, lose-win, sacrificing our needs to please others, and lose-lose, where everyone loses in a never-ending cycle of conflict. The ideal mindset is win-win, where everyone can thrive through cooperation and collaboration. To think win-win, we must first achieve the private victory by focusing on personal growth. We should also avoid competing and comparing ourselves to others. By adopting a win-win mindset, we build successful and rewarding relationships in all areas of our lives.